Yeah, this is what we love, so it's great. Yes, um, I'm very lucky to be taking over the reins as showrunner. Uh, my mandate was to, you know, keep the DNA and the roots of the show, but to bring it into a new uh, and a different dimension. So to add some new types of storytelling, uh, a bunch of new characters, uh, really kind of freshen the show and uh, turn a corner with it. And, and I think we've really successfully done that. Very proud of how unique some of the episodes are. We've done some really cool visual stuff. We've shot in some locations we've never done before. We did an episode um, middle of the season that's basically a western, uh, and we shot it in Cinemascope, which is you know what they did for Good, the Bad, the Ugly. Uh, it looks unlike any episode of Van Helsing we've ever done before, but it's still at its core. It's still Van Helsing. So to get to do those sorts of things has been a lot of fun, and I'm really enjoying what we've turned out. Yep, absolutely. Well, obviously, we'll we'll start with the sort of the one I'm most excited about. We get to meet Dracula this season. Uh, Trisha Helfer, a remarkable actress with a great pedigree in genre. Uh, obviously, Lucifer and Battlestar Galactica, and I could go on and on. But to have her join the cast is um, incredible, and we've got amazing plans moving forward for where we're going to take that character. Um, we've got uh, two new younger uh, female leads in our show. Um, Kia King, who plays Violet, incredible, fierce, determined character. Um, it's got lots of mystery and lots of intrigue to uh, where she's going and where she's come from. And um, also we've got Nicole Munoz, uh, who plays uh, Jacqueline, or Jack, as we call her on the show. And um, she's uh, a survivor, out um, doing the best she can to rally people and try and move forward. But there's a real purity and a real strength to her character, as well as the fact that she's a really badass fighter. Richard Harmon, who a lot of people know from The 100, um, we brought him in as the character Max Borman. Uh, he's a badass, but he is most interestingly one of the people who, in a vampire apocalypse, is loving this. Has found out or figured out a way to carve a niche out for himself where he basically feels like he's bulletproof and is enjoying every moment of this. And, so, and Richard is a great actor, obviously, The 100 and Continuum and uh, lots of other things. And, he brought a real joy, a glee, to the character that I think people will really enjoy. This season looks like it's kind of tall and a little bit lighter than the previous season. Did you make a conscious effort to do that? Yeah, I think, you know, it's, it, it's a bit of both. Because, again, to keep the DNA of it, there still has to be those dark edges. And bringing Dracula into the story <laughs> definitely maintains that. But in terms of levity, I did want to bring in a little bit more lightness to the show, and I did want to bring a bit more youthful vitality to the show, and so that's really the objective for me to bring in the younger actors, also to, to hopefully broaden the audience a little bit and bring in some new eyeballs. You know, Every year you seem to have more blood. Will it be more this year? <laughs> Here, it's interesting you said I, I My conscious effort was pick our moments to do blood and then a lot of other places to imply it because I didn't want the show to get too gore heavy. So there's a moment you saw a few of them in that trailer. There's certainly some where it's like, oh, wow, that's, that's a lot. But then there's a lot else where we try and play it more on, oh, someone maybe is getting their head hacked off over here, but we're on an actor going, oh, my God, that's horrible. So it's, it's a little bit of both. <laughs> Being more playful with the blood and the gore side of it. Yes, yeah. That's basically the mandate for sure. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks, you. guys.